but uh, for fresher definitely go with tableau or power bi i'll recommend power bi but if you are comfortable with tableau you can go ahead i'll just give you a brief of what is required basically if you talk about data analytics at a initial uh, fresher or i can say uh, starting role or maybe a experience role one thing is for sure basically you need to understand one of the database language either it can be sql or it can be advanced excel okay so even if you are good with advanced excel still i will prefer that sql is important because i it can be any form mysql or tsql or sql whatever you are comfortable with but at least the concept will remain the same so sql is very important then comes the excel because nowadays still lots of companies are using excel they are creating macros they are creating good kind of reports on excel so some of the advanced excel knowledge will always help you okay you can always highlight that point and it will always help you in your uh, resume okay so excel that is one thing but the next thing is nowadays those old tools for reporting and for this analysis like even including excel ssrs ssas they are now replaced by power bi okay so if you are talking about the next step like where you will represent the data how you will present the data then power bi tableau and sas or salesforce these things will or click view will come into picture okay but uh, for fresher definitely go with tableau or power bi i'll recommend power bi but if you are comfortable with tableau you can go ahead but compared to the job opportunities power bi is more in demand so if for a fresher that is the priority that's why uh, if you are if i talk about experienced people also if you are aware of how this tool tool works that is fine you can choose but if you are not aware you need to start fresh start with power bi it is easy to understand easy to implement okay but if you talk about tableau then definitely this if that is a separate language you need to understand and you need to understand it in, in a detailed way so that's why i'll recommend power bi but it's up to you what tool you choose both are in demand and both will add value to your data analytic uh, profile so anything is fine then comes not but uh, last but not the least like r or python it is mandatory not both but at least one and definitely i'll recommend python because uh, nowadays i mean uh, from school itself people are learning python okay or even at a later point of time if you are working into some it uh, role so python some way or other you are using python if you are not using then start learning it because not just for data analytics or data science somewhere it will help you in some way because python is the kind of language which is even more popular than sql nowadays so if you are working in some other project also you will see one or two of your colleague is working on python somewhere they are touching it so that's why it is it is important it is it is a language which is very important which is used everywhere just like cc earlier it was c c++ and java but now it is python for data analytics roles so definitely you should go with this one and then i'll mention with a star that some of the behavioral questions are also important okay and that is not just for fresher that is also for the people who are into the experience role so i just wanted to open this this question for now like how many of you have faced uh, the rejection or something or you feel like you face the rejection in the interview based on the behavioral question like they ask you some generic question and then you uh, you didn't answer that so or maybe what kind of question you face i just wanted to ask because that is the point most of the people will not pay attention to but that is playing a key role nowadays in the interviews so that's why i'm asking like uh, have you faced this kind of things that uh, some of sometime the the companies will reject or maybe for some or the other reason but they will not mention the specific reason but i'll definitely ask you this thing that whenever you are uh, uh, i mean maybe if you are not getting the reply from the company or something like ask the hr maybe if she will she or he or she will reply then definitely it is good if not then just retrospect like what went what uh, went well and what not so just make a note of it so it will help because i know like lots of people will face this thing that they will not even reply that what what was the issue okay so 
I will always give a feedback, even if I'm selecting a candidate, even if I'm not selecting a candidate, I will always ask even the HR to provide a feedback. That is what I, I am doing from last two years at least, because uh, I know. So, sorry, TP. Okay. So, I know basics of MySQL, Excel, Python, R, and Tableau, but how to practice data analytics? Is there any internship? Okay. So, I guess uh, if you're talking about, uh, maybe I'm assuming that you are uh, fresher. So internship is definitely a good thing. So you can do internship. So it will actually give you an exposure to the actual projects which are going on in the industry. So that is definitely going to help you because that is not the only way, but that is the best possible uh, solution where you can do. And there are lots of website. I mean, if you want me to, you can just pose this question in the community also and, and share with you what are the different uh, ways you can get the internship. Okay, there are internships, Shala, and all those other websites where you can just check for the internship and you will get good internships, type and everything. Okay, so intern Shala and check and LinkedIn. I'm telling you, start using, even if I'm, I'm talking with uh, 105 candidates, just start using LinkedIn a lot because that is going to change your career, that is going to change the way you are thinking about the IT or the data analytics industry. There are lots of good people with whom you can just follow them, connect with them, and they will share good amount of information, which will definitely going to help you. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you be active on LinkedIn. And then again, you are open to go to any of the other website. Okay. 